Good afternoon. Hope I am loud and clear. I'm audible to everybody, right? So uh, let me introduce brief about myself that uh, Amit Chen, working in IT industry from last 20 years and uh, working on the data, working on the fintech solutions and also, right? Now we, we, are, we are focusing more on the healthcare data, how we can improve, how we can help uh, the, the patient or the population of country like India, right? So how do we provide the low cost and cost effective solutions to the to the people of India basically, right? So let me just share my slide deck around it and then we can go through it and understand what I'm talking about over here. Uh, the today's topic, what I'm talking about is the improving of the patient care with the healthcare data analytics. How do we improve the experience and predict the, the, the medical, the health condition of the patient basically, how what kind of life they are leading it by collecting the data from the different sources. The sources can be their wearable devices. The sources can be the your medical procedure. During your medical procedure, the, your data is getting collected from the labs, from the hospitals, from the clinics, right? So, so that data help us to understand and analyze it to predict about your health, the, the kind of lifestyle you are leading it, the kind of health condition you have it right now and how it is going to be in near near future are you are you going to be uh, going to incur some critical illnesses or all that can be predicted based on your past historical data that we have collected over the period of time right so it it basically help us to to predict and help us to get ready to prevent the any such uh, upcoming events which can be avoided right so that's about the data analytics and what is healthcare data? So healthcare data is about data about your, uh, the, the data about your health, which we have collected it from the different source of information. It may be your hospitals, it may be your labs, it may be your wearable devices, your insurance companies are collecting your data, right? So all these data gets collected to a centralized place and this uh, send done in the, the, now the trend is basically all this data going to be stored in a centralized place on cloud. And on the data, whatever we have collected, it would, would go under a big data processing. So we can train the models, we can predict the, so these models would be able to predict um, the upcoming events. And these would help us to avoid the, any such mishappenings have going to happen, which is going to happen to the, to the patient. This would reduce the cost of the, the treatment because we are able to avoid a certain, uh, certain events of, for the patient, right? So the, the slide, now what I'm talking about, the source of healthcare data, what are the, the ways we are collecting a data. So you have a medical claims, which, and you have a mobile data where you have wearable devices, your hospital bills, right? Your uh, clinical, uh, your labs, your pharmacy, all these are actually uh, collecting a data about a person, right? And this data from our various sources get stored to a, to a big data storage, which we uh, which we are now on a trend uh, storing the data on a cloud, and which is on a FH, which is a fire, which we call it as a fire compliance data storage, right? And which is a HIPAA compliance secured. And as Pramada mentioned, that based on the consent, this data can be shared with the with the consent of the patient. Data can be shared to the, the healthcare provider, which which we, who would be able to predict. Who would be able to analyze basically what kind of uh, treatment you have been undergone, right? And what kind of so based on your historical treatment, the the upcoming the new treatments can be given because your healthcare information is already handily uh, available to the to the healthcare practitioner, right? So once the data is collected, this is this slide a uh, talk about how the data is basically collected and then stored and how it can be used for for making it a convert it to an action basically. So if you look at, um, we are collecting a data from the, if you look at from the left side, we have a clinical data. We have data from the various devices, third parties and other data information, which gets stored to the centralized data store, which is a, a Azure FHIR. We, we have worked on Azure FHIR, so we are naming it here, so right. And once the data is uh, collected to the FHIR server, this data can go under a, processing or or for a big data analytics right on it can we can run a machine learning we can run a artificial intelligence and we can we will be able to predict uh, the the lifestyle of the person the health condition of the person right so that helps or to 
avoid and uh, to predict and avoid um, certain uh, certain diseases for the patients basically right so that is how then this is how the data gets stored and this is how the data can be used to predict certain events which is going to happen in future right what is the importance of healthcare data? So digital healthcare data, which, which is collected from a various sources, right, can be analyzed, right? Which, and it can be analyzed. So analysis happen based on your historical healthcare information and the current con condition of your healthcare, health condition. And together we can predict how the, the, the behavior or the health condition of the patients, right? If you look at the example of COVID-19 pandemic, right, the big data or the data analytics data collected from a various source across the globe, across the countries and across the states, right, the, we were able to predict that when is the surge going to happen, when is it is going to reduce, when the spread is going to come down. And so the, the hospitals and the government agencies were well prepared or they were getting, they were aware of it that when, what kind of situation we are going to encounter it. And so that the hospitals and healthcare providers were on alert or on standby to handle such situations, right? So that that that's where it helps a lot in, in the pandemic that we were able to predict the surge and the, the the curves when it is going to go down, basically, right? So how healthcare um, help us to provide a solution? So if we have a centralized healthcare storage for everybody in the nation, right? It helps to, so everyone carry their health information as in the form of health card, right? Wherever he go, wherever he goes along their health card, his information can be shared to the, any hospitals, right? And hospitals can, will be able to understand the, the kind of treatment he has gone under, right? And can provide the solution, basically the kind of treatment he has to go under, he should be given. So that uh, that helps a lot to avoid any such risk, any uh, or any prediction. So, so it avoids the potential risk for uh, major surgeries and things like that. Right. So that is where the healthcare analytics helps to provide the solution, and it reduces the lot of cost which incurs if you have to go under a, any major surgeries and also if you are able to predict about a person that you you are going to face this uh, certain medical situation which you, which can be avoided if you start taking certain uh, cares about your health right so that is how the healthcare analytics uh, provide the solution for you healthcare analytics helps to reduce the cost because we are able to avoid or we are able to prevent certain certain risk for the patients right and uh, that that helps for the healthcare system to be available for the, the other patient because uh, we were able to you know, uh, save the people to go to a major surgeries and major risk. So that helps to reduce the cost, that helps to reduce the cost to the to the even uh, the insurance companies also because uh, they they need not to uh, the bear the cost if the patient goes under the surgeries and all. So that helps for the that reduces the cost for the insurance companies as well as the patients also right and based on the healthcare analytics uh, we are we can even predict the the appointment no shows also and uh, supply chain management cost also basically we would be able to predict based on the uh, historical behavior we can predict that the person is going to attend the appointments or he will be on no show if no show then the 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 healthcare providers can available can release the slots for the other patients to come and attend, attend the, the sessions basically so that's how it helps to optimize the resource utilization because and reduces the cost which it, it's going to incur because of the no shows or certain other situations right so what are the use cases with which we have analyzed and which we have worked on? Basically, we can create a risk score for a chronic diseases for the each patient, right? Based on the historical data, we can we can predict that what is the risk score of the individual one, right? We can we can um, beforehand we can uh, predict to uh, about the patient before the situation that deteriorates for the patients, right? 
we can even behave, we can uh, predict the behavior of the treatment. Let's say that we, we start giving certain medicine to a to the set of people, right? And we collect the data and we can measure the efficiency of the new medicines or whatever medicines we have, whatever new treatments giving it to the patients. We can even predict, predict the efficiency of the treatment. We can, even the healthcare data, which, which we're talking about, the health card, person can carry its own health card and can be shared with the, any of the, the healthcare providers, uh, hospitals, right? So we call it as a data interoperability. Right? So this helps a lot. This helps a lot to the new uh, healthcare uh, hospitals to understand the situations and uh, immediately provide the, the treatment. They can start the treatment without losing their time. So, it's a, so it saves a lot of time and cost. To, to understand the historical health information about the persons, right? It provides, uh, it can even, healthcare analytics even can understand the, the mental situations or things like so, which can even, we can understand and predict that if the person is in a societal tendencies or if we can, and we can actually save them to go to the extreme stage. So this is where also we can use the healthcare analytics about to understand and to help the, the patients about it. What is the roadmap going to be? So a roadmap, uh, what we have seen in our trend and globally it's going to happen. It's happening in India, it started in India also where uh, the earlier, uh, the, the each hospital was sitting on the data with the patients where, and they, they were not ready to share the data with the other clinical or hospitals, right? And the labs were, sharing a data in terms of uh, hard copies and all right so now what we have seen that train that every data is getting converted to a digital form right and it's getting collected it's once the data is getting collected the we are able to do the machine learning data analytics and all right so and we are able to we can even we can predict what kind of treatment should be given and this data can be shared to any any of the the hospital across the country or across the globe based on the consent of the process right so this is going to create a major change or the major shift the way we are operating we were operating it earlier before pandemic and now we have seen that pandemic we have opened up the we have start we have allowed people to share their data with across the hospitals and also right so that we the, the government agencies and healthcare can would know about it the 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 potential uh, it can identify the gaps and fix the problems and be ready to provide the with the healthcare facilities to to provide the to provide it to the patient basically right? so this is how what we see the healthcare is going to do a major shift in the way uh, we were being uh, we, we have been seeing the the way it is being treated to the patient right we will be able to give more better predictions based on the data and we would this would really reduce the cost of the the treatment because we would be able to avoid certain certain major surgeries and things like that so that that's how i see that the healthcare is going to change a lot in this medical uh, healthcare uh, verticals it's, and we'll have the and the, the technology is going to do a big is going to play a bigger role to you know, do this data analytics and help like this way so that that's how i see um, it's we, we see a bright future about the healthcare analytics in, in this medical industries, I think we are we will be having a bigger role to play, and I think everyone will have a bigger opportunity, bigger responsibility to play to, you know, to carry on their shoulders to, to contribute to make it make this world better. That's how it is from my side. Thank you. Anything else you we can discuss in the in the session.